It's on. Let's go. All right, so welcome to the video. So basically, no races as of right now, but that could change. That could change. I mean, that could change day to day. Um, so I'm still gonna do triathlons, but I was really thinking about doing this race. Uh, it it closes at midnight at night, so I gotta try to get on there and see if I can sign up. Uh, it's a Skyway. So then what I would do is I would start a prep for that. It's just a 10K um, and just see how that, that goes. But today we got a storm coming and let's just see how it goes. I'm gonna try to get in a quick swim. I'm sure the water is a little chill, but you want to keep it around uh, 74 to 75 and I'm pretty good cyclist I feel like and I'm a pretty good runner but I feel like I suck at swimming so I've really been kind of pushing around maybe getting a swim coach and just I mean my best 100 is 128 so but I want to get a whole set at 128 129 that's my goal to get that so that's where I'm looking at but yeah we got a storm of brewing out there see it behind us but then on this side we got a beautiful lap pool look at this thing so crisp not a wrinkle in the water I love it so beautiful so let's get this swim on and see what happens and how it goes and we'll talk about it here in just a few. All right, so we finished the set. And let me save it real quick. 2,400 meters. We're looking at 229 pace. So I don't have my heart rate uh, strap on. So it's going to ask to search for it. But we are definitely not using that data. We're going to use the data from the watch. The watch you know, like I said before, I, it's somewhat accurate. I don't think it's as accurate as a chest strap heart rate monitor by Garmin. So we're gonna skip it and save without external HR, yes. And now it's gonna save the swim. So basically, I did four sets of 15 minutes. And what I would do is I would do 100 fast and then rest 20 seconds and then 200 at race pace, rest 20 seconds, and then 200 recovery, so give me 500. So I did that for four sets of 15 minutes, and I ended up with a recovery of 22 hours. That's pretty spectacular, but I'm definitely not gonna need that, because I'm gonna see if I have time, I'm gonna go for a quick run and work on my run because like I said I suck at swimming so now let me work on my run and see if I can uh, make that better than what it is because I, I feel like with my run I'm good on flat pavement but where I need to increase is gonna be the hills I'm gonna work on hills just in case I do another Ironman next year and there's some hills uh, I'm gonna be prepared for them because Panama City Beach I did not stop not one time. Chattanooga, that's a different, different story, different video. So let's get to the run. All right, so we're gonna go on this run. Uh, it's about 6.30 at night. Probably gonna run for an hour, just an easy run, see how it goes. It's gonna be one of my longer runs since my Ironman in Chattanooga. Whew, that was definitely a, uh, a good race um, had a lot of support uh, I feel like everything went good 
just with Iron Man, I feel like with anything, the team helps you, you know, get to where you're going to be as far as the finish goes. You know, your family, uh, people around you you don't know. Um, you just check off the boxes. You do the swim. Mentally, you just check it off. And then you jump on the bike. Mentally, you just check it off. And then you jump on the run. And once you hit that finish line, you mentally just check it off. It's one more Iron Man in the books. And like tonight, I feel like with the training, I feel like it's the same way. We're going to do an hour run, most likely, and just check the box off on the training run tonight. So let's get after it. Let's do a couple of warm-ups, and then we'll get on the road. All right, well, we finished that run up. Uh, as you can see, if you look behind me, we were running while the neighborhood was asleep. We're running at night while everybody's sleeping, while Lakeland is sound asleep. So the, the run went pretty good. Um, I think I ended up with a seven minute pace and then I cooled down. I did seven miles, 8.25 average pace. Best pace was seven miles. And if you look, 58.56. So under an hour run, that's what I wanted. Let's go ahead and save this. As you can see, I got the Garmin heart rate on. I feel like that's a little more accurate than the watch. Uh, the watch does have a uh, heart rate attached to it. But it doesn't give a signal, I feel, as good as the Garmin chest strap does. It covers your swim. With the swim, though, it records it. And then it reports it back to the watch when you finish. And then the bike is live. Because you can see it on your bike monitor. You can see it on your watch. And then the run is live. It records it as you go. So... My Vivo Max is 5.0 aerobic. Uh, performance, 52. Excellent. Days of recovery, 4. I don't believe that. But you know, we'll do what Garmin says. No, I'm just kidding. We're not going to recover for 4 days. So now we're going to go get something to eat. We got some uh, homemade empanadas, which are uh, pretty fantastic. So I will see you on the next training session. All right, so I'm at IHOP. I'm at the search to find the big breakfast, but the best breakfast. I call it the BB. The big, actually we'll do a triple B. The big best breakfast. Triple B, I like that better. So let's go inside and see what's going on. All right, so we got it here. So let's see how it tastes. And then we got two pancakes, two eggs, and hash brown. Oh, thank you. Let's try it and see. I'll show you a picture, only if it's good. Oh, pretty good. So remember, everybody's gone down to the best bite, which is the last bite. Alright, we got one more bite after this.
Oh man, that's good. That was a good breakfast. The triple B, the big best breakfast. Mm. So good. All right, we are in Arvindale. We left Lakeland about 30 minutes away, uh, right about a 20 mile an hour pace, uh, almost 10 miles, right around there. So we'll head back to Lakeland from Arvindale. Mm, excuse me. So we'll finish up this week's uh, training. It's my off season, so I'm not really hitting it too hard, but I'm definitely trying to get at least a swim a run and a bike workout in at least through the off season just to keep me fresh uh, definitely want to encourage you guys out there and gals to stay fresh stay on some kind of training program if you end up maybe just doing like a 70.3 training program you know for 12 weeks or 20 weeks just to keep you fresh and then you could always find a local you know 70.3 to do you don't have to do an Ironman uh, race uh, if you were to do an Ironman then of course that's a little bit longer training schedule and then I mean there's still Panama City Beach and Panama City you could always do that one uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of other races are full so you'd be working on next year's schedule like I am I'm kind of torn uh, I really love Chattanooga I really love Panama City Beach. The difference is uh, about an hour uh, between the races that I did as far as times go and travel time is about two hours less. So you can drive six hours, which is a little bit easier from where I'm at in Central Florida versus driving to Chattanooga, which is about eight and a half. And that definitely takes a toll on you and the family with all the driving, lodging, stopping, uh, back and forth at least with Panama City Beach the hotel was literally like a mile maybe two miles away um, it is late November so you do take a chance of it getting cold uh, Panama City is in the panhandle so they do get some of that Georgia cold weather uh, so we were facing the water temperature being colder also too we were facing some winds and that day was it was probably in the 50s and then it got in the 40s at night so it was definitely a challenge for everybody that day now Chattanooga on the other hand the swim was chilly but starting out on the bike it was a little cold and then it warmed up and then it was like 75 80 the rest of the day until night I think night got down to about maybe 60 maybe 65 but you're running at that point in time so if you do end up running through the night a little bit and not finishing when the sun's out then at least you'll be secure I chose not to wear a sweater I'm glad I didn't because I think I would have overheated uh, I did have too much stuff though I had like my sunglasses I had a headband I had a water bottle I just had I had a lot going on but hey you live and learn and you gotta always remember to leave the kitchen sink at home so they say but I like to bring it with me, it seems like, sometimes. So that will wrap up this training session. Uh, like I said in the beginning of the video, I do suck at swimming, but I'm going to work on getting better. So let's head back to Lakeland. I'll see you guys in next week's video. Get them, Lemon. Get him, Lemon. Get him, Lemon. Get him, Lemon. Run, Lemon, run. Run, Lemon. So we got the backyard all nice and edged off for Lemon. She loves it. Lemon, Lemon, say hi. Say hi to the camera, Lemon. They love this backyard. She's got to pee now. I see the way she's walking. Look at her. <laughs>